I'm Chad from Chad DIY and today's project is building this really simple cross-cut sled for doing 45 degree angles on a table saw. So let's get started. The first thing I'll do is mark the board to 22 inches long. Then I'll just rip it to length on the table saw. Next I'll cut my two 3 quarter inch rails. I'll start by measuring the groove and then just make my rails about a quarter inch apiece. This board is long enough where I can just make one cut and then I'll cut my two rails out of this piece. The sled is going to be about 13 inches long so I'll make my two rails that size. Now that I have my rails done I need to get the blade below the finished surface. I'll mark the center of the board which is 11 inches and then line it up with my fence. Now I'll start attaching my rails. I'll add some washers so the rails are above the finished surface and then I can glue down the main board. I'm just using regular wood glue to glue it down and then I'll add some weight to the board while the glue dries. Next I'll cut a couple of 13 inch boards for the 45 degree jig. Once I have my two boards cut I'll start drilling some pocket holes to hold it to the main board of the jig. Now start gluing and screwing both of the boards together. I'm using this 45 degree jig to just make sure the boards are perfectly aligned. I will later need to remove these screws once the glue dries because they will get in the way of the saw blade. Now I'll start making my measurements to make sure the 45 degree jig is perfectly on the board. I'll line up the center line in my two bottoms and then I can make my pencil marks. I'll once again use screws and some glue to secure everything together. I'll just line everything up with the pencil marks I made earlier. Now I'll make a few marks where I can cut the excess wood off. This isn't completely necessary to do, but it just adds a little less friction when running across the table saw. I'm just using my circular saw and freehanding each cut. Now I'll remove the two pocket hole screws so they don't run into the blade. I can now raise the blade and make my first cut. Finally I'll just test everything out with a scrap piece of wood. And here's the perfect 45 degree cut. So here's the final product, uh, turned out I guess fine, you're just making 45 degree cuts. Um, the reason I don't always do 45 degree cuts on the miter saw is sometimes if they're a little off they're not going to be perfectly 45 degrees. This way as long as this is 45 degrees, as long as I do one cut on that side and one cut on this side, it's always going to be perfect 45, depending no matter where your blade is set up. So if you enjoyed this project, I hope you hit that like button and as always, please subscribe. Thanks.